Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a list of books to start reading if you want to get into reading. So we're doing a huge recommendations video. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Karen. I do a lot of books, fashion, and lifestyle content. If any of that is of interest to you, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Like I was saying, I have a huge list of books to show you. So I know reading is one of those hobbies that people pick on a certain stages of their lives and it's not for everybody but I do think it's a very relaxing hobby and I absolutely love reading so I want you guys to start reading too it makes me super happy when like my friends text me asking me for book recommendations and when my friends get into reading so I want you guys to start reading as well the first book that I'm going to recommend to you guys is The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han so this is actually a book series that I'm only going to talk about the first book this was recently just turned into an Amazon Prime series I'm not going to talk about the series here I personally love the book it's about Bailey Conrad and Jeremiah she is a girl who spends this, her summers with her mom her mom's friends and her two boys and it is a childhood friends to lovers two brother throat love triangle throat it's just there's so much going on and if you want a light summer reading that's also YA you should read this book it's just a really good beginning it's also amazing for people who are just getting into reading this book was actually one of the books that I have enjoyed the most so far this is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne it is actually turning to a movie already I love the movie as well this one is actually one of those movies where they didn't change the plot so much so this one is an enemies to lovers trope and like co-workers who are enemies turn to lovers kind of trope and this book is just amazing it's about lucy and joshua and they just the banter is amazing their love story is just great i think everyone should read this book if you like romance books uh, not a romance book but if you want something different and romance is not a genre that you actually enjoy and you want to get into reading i recommend picking up the inheritance games this is a fiction novel I don't even know specifically what category this will fit into and what trope I can assign to this. There's a little bit of fantasy, maybe a little bit of literary fiction. I could be highly wrong about that, but this one's great. It's about Avery Grahams. She was left a huge fortune by this multi-billionaire guy from Texas and she doesn't even know this guy. She has no idea why she was left this fortune. And then there's a little bit of romance in it too. There's two brothers. It's also a book series, I'm only talking about the first one. It's just great. It really keeps you on your toes. It's almost like a guessing game. You're constantly trying to find clues to what's going to happen next. So it is definitely a very entertaining read. So I recommend this one is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Then we have a classic. This is a favorite for a lot of people. It actually matches my shirt. Love Another Wars by Christina Lauren. I love this book. It is kind of a thick read, but I still think it's just a great book. This one is about Macy and Elliot, and it is Shallow Friends to Lovers with two alternating timelines. to go back and forth from when they were kids to when they were adults. So it is definitely very interesting. I'm not going to go into detail because we have a lot of books to get through, but the one I think if you want a sweet Shallow Friends to Lover throw and just kind of a little bit of a slower pace read, this one's good. Some people might disagree with me and say this is not a slow pace. It was very slow for me. I went through it pretty fast because I was already in a big reading phase, kind of. I was going through books really fast. So I did go through this one really fast. It was still a little bit slower than a lot of the, a lot of the other books that I'm going to be mentioning here. We have my all-time favorite, Beach Read by Emily Henry. This book was actually the very first reading vlog I ever did on this channel and I started doing book content if you don't know I have been on YouTube for about two years now almost and I've only been doing book content since December last year so it has been quite a while and my channel has actually seen growth since I started doing book videos so was, this is one of the books that actually started with that this was the book that kind of started it all technically I might be giving it too much credit, but I just really like this book. This one is a also an enemy's friends to love her. That is actually a throw that I, I really like because it kind of eats you into the love story. It's not just like they just jump into it and just like love at first sight and all that. This one is about Gustus Everett and Jerry Andrews. They are both writers and it's also a next door neighbor trope and 
there's just so much packed in this book i can't begin to describe what it is about pretty much they're writers they've known each other for a long time she goes to this lake house that used to belong to her dad and she finds out that he lives next door and then the book kind of takes off from there that's all i'm gonna say without spoiling anything for you guys with family henry was one of my first reads there's actually a video that i want to do eventually a five star reads video because i don't think i've done one in this channel yet then we have i think one of the first books i finished in a long time like this is actually one of the books that got me into reading again it was the woman in cabin 10 this is by root where this is a number one new york times bestseller this is a thriller i love this book it is so freaking entertaining Keep in mind, back when I used to read this book, I wasn't a big reader, so it did take me forever to get through it. But the book's full, it was just me. I wasn't really into reading back then. And I read this book, and I actually finished it, and that kind of gave me a kickstart for actually wanting to read more books a little bit faster. This is about... Let's see where I can find the description for this one. The thriller is this woman. She is in a boat for... Not a boat, but like a yacht. For some type of work trip that she gets sent on randomly and then a lot of stuff happens there somebody goes missing and nobody believes her and there's just like a lot of trippy stuff i mean it is a psychological thriller so your mind wonder about what the book might be about because i feel like if i say anything else it's just gonna be a spoiler for you guys then i have a colleen hoover classic this is ugly love by colleen hoover i actually just recommend this book to one of my friends that texted me asking me for a book to read this book might be actually my all-time favorite Colleen Hoover book people might say it ends with us is that for them it's not for me this is it this is the ultimate Colleen Hoover book this is a romance book if you know Colleen Hoover books you know they're super packed with drama and sadness and there's a lot of trigger points so look that up before you get into this book but this one's pretty much about Tim Collins and Mal Archer they kind of start a friends with benefit relationship and then he pretty much says you shouldn't get attached to me because I have a lot of baggage. A lot of stuff happens in this book. It is a romance. It is a brother's best friend trope. I personally love this book. I know the description doesn't sound very appealing probably if you're not a big reader. But I promise you this book will keep you hooked. Then we have another thriller. This is Little Secrets by Jennifer Hillier. I did a book where I read all the books that other booktubers so people that are on youtube recommended for me this one was recommended by me by one of the youtubers that i reached out to i don't specifically remember who recommended this to me this one is about marion she pretty much has a perfect life something really bad happens and it kind of throws her entire life out of control and it is a book that will keep you guessing what's happening who did it it was just it just keeps you guessing and this is like i think the type of book that people that are into reading or want to get into reading should start reading maybe start with this and then move on to romance because it definitely keeps you on your toes then we have every summer after by carly fortune this book is very similar to the summer i turned pretty serious and a little bit of the wars and another book that i'm not recommending here but it's called 99 days if you mix all those books together you get this book this book was great honestly it really gives you the summer vibes it's actually a friendship friend, friendship no childhood friends to love her throat and then also it's a summer setting it has alternating timelines and it does it only has like one pov actually yeah i think it doesn't have multiple povs but this one is a good starring novel too if you're looking to get into a sweet summer romance who also has some drama this is probably the book to pick up this is about like i said two friends they fall in love when they're kids and then something really big happens and they kind of have a falling out and they reconnect because of a traumatic event that happens in their lives and like i said alternating timelines was kind of giving you piece by piece what happened but it definitely keeps you just waiting for more i think this is a good book for beginners as well we have a ya thriller it's like, it's like murder mystery this is actually my only murder mystery book ever a genre that really calls me out i'm reading actually the second book right now which is a good girl's good girl by blood this is a good girl's guide to murder by holly jackson this is like i said a ya murder mystery it's about pip she is 
pretty much investigating a murder that happened five years ago in her high school for a time capsule or some type of capsule project that she has in school and she asked for permission to pretty much unpack what happened in that murder because she doesn't actually think that the guy that did it actually did it and there's a little bit of romance sprinkle in there i do think it's a book that it's really set up in a very cool way it kind of gives you like the interview transcripts and stuff like that and i think it's a really fun book and we have another colin hoover classic of course this book this video was gonna have two colin hoover books this is verity it's another one of my five star reads this is a mystery, I think it might even be a little bit of horror, but I could be wrong. So this is about Lowen Ashley. She's a struggling writer and she gets offered this big opportunity, which kind of requires her to move into the house of this very famous and successful writer that had an accident and she's supposed to pick up where the other writer left off for a novel project. And when she's there, a lot of stuff happens. This is my first romance slash thriller it is kind of a weird combination but i swear it works out pretty well on this one and at the end something happens where you kind of forced to think which team you are so let me know in the comments if your team letter or transcript that's what i'm gonna say and then the very last book that i'm gonna recommend to you guys is my all-time favorite book this might be my favorite book of all time it's daisy jones and the six by taylor jenkins reed this book, I don't even know where to start. It is one of the best books of all time. I really hope this becomes a classic someday, like maybe a hundred years from now, this should be a classic. This is about Daisy Jones and a band. This is based in the 70s. Some people say that this might be inspired by Fleetwood Mac. I don't know how accurate that is. It's about a girl in a rock band in the 70s. And this is not a romance novel. There is some romance in there and you leave you hanging, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. But the setting, the characters, the way that the interviews actually make you feel like these are real people. To the point where when I finished reading this book, I found myself googling this band because I thought it was real. That's how real it feels reading this. It almost gives you literary fiction bias because it is it's just a great great book and i think everyone should read this especially if you're looking to get into reading those are all the books that i have for you guys today i hope we decide to just go to target or barnes and nobles and order one of these books right now when you click out of this video because i re i assure you these are books that are definitely gonna get you into reading and being said i hope you decide to subscribe button because i do have a lot of fun videos planned for this summer and i'm also trying to do some vlogging here and there besides the book videos still with book content attached to it because that is my niche at the moment because emma chamberlain is back on youtube and now i feel like i need to vlog more so we're gonna be doing that as well one more time hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next video let me know any books you're reading right now that i should go pick up